Flex on him. Flex, oh. Bodybuilding show. 2018. Now, for those who don't understand, man, he said, we'll get back to review Tyler the Creator's crust in their eyes, Lucy Goosey track. And he's going to play it from over there. Yeah, flex on him. You know, it's tough to flex when your arm doesn't even fill the sleeve. <laughs> Not that mine does. <laughs> Not that mine does. Also, the fact that I got bare and none muscle. That's probably also a factor. Except in my dick. Hey! When that muscle gets hard, it's like a muscle coming out of the shell for the first time and you're snicking up and you're... Oh, mate. It's a treat. Now, for those who don't know us, how would you describe what we do? Who are Jungle Beasts? Jungle Beats is Australia's best plug to hip hop, R&B, and other genres that we plan to get onto in the motherfucking South Hemisphere. Well, the South Hemisphere now. Yeah, fuck the other hemispheres. Man, America's up there. I don't think you want to fuck them. I mean, I'll fuck a lot of people in America. I'm sure you will. Get a lot of people diseases. Man, I'll fuck that country. I'll fucking grab the country itself, pull the earth apart, and put my big old... <laughs> <in there. laughs> Give it a little raspberry. <laughs> a what? A raspberry. What's that? Do you want me to show you? No. It's when you like on someone's belly, you go. Oh, that's what it's called. That's a raspberry. <laughs> yeah, it's a raspberry. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what the fuck it's called a raspberry because whatever the fuck it's got to do with it, but that's what it's called. Anyway, it's how the crowd dropped a new track. Oh, oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! My name is uh, Bodie McBodyface. I don't know what part of your brain you go into to get these names, but <laughs> <it's>... <laughs> my name is Crossed in My Eyes, aka <laughs> Alexander Sandalis. <laughs> Can we, uh, you want to review this track? Yeah, fucking do it. Right. Oh, it's Kids See Ghost! Hey! He's a big fan of Kanye and them. Kids See Ghost sometimes. Serious. Moving around, just moving around. Get him, Tyler. My sister called me the other day and said she loved me, what's up? I called her back and said I'm sorry, I don't say it enough. See, I don't put it before, I just say what I want, nigga. I don't want to do the truth, I'm not sure. Uh, look how I got crust in their eyes, I can't blink right. These niggas fake confident, fake show how they feel, nigga. I want a big cry because they act like real. You jump stars, motherfucker, how you think they gon' heal up? Sad ass niggas fucking up on the deal. Trust me, I'm all with you, but let y'all make moves. I don't feel the channel, you niggas just stay tuned. Watch, I'm a real fresh friend. Is that it? That's it, man. We get one verse, oh, Tyler. Did he just say, I'm pro black with my tweak white? Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Tyler's not gay. He's just joking around again. That's a really, that's a funny line. I was good. There's some funny lines in there, man. He de his delivery was on par, mm. on beat. Oh, I didn't expect him to use that beat though. He sounded great on there. Oh, he's a big fan, obviously. Kanye and them. I've got to say, from Kids See Ghost, that track's probably the biggest grow off of me. Yeah. Because all the other tracks were so, you know, they had a lot more emotion to them. Whereas that track. We're still talking quite a lot about mental illness, but it just, I feel like it, it, was, it was different in a way. Like it was more... Well, Kanye's verse is the one that hit us, right? Mm. So that's always been great for me. I don't know. It's just for, for I don't know, for on that album, that's the track that grew on me the most. Like I go back to that track quite a bit. It's okay. just, and I still get the feel of just like, like Kid Cudi and the, 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 the frequency sort of video, yeah, just yeah. being in the jungle and just sort of just yeah. moving around. It's just... What about Tyler though? Oh, Tyler did his thing. Tyler did his thing. Tyler did his thing. I got no problem. Very enjoyable. Very enjoyable. I... I wish more artists did what Tyler did. Just dropping Lucy's. It's so good for the fans and it's it's just so good. Like he would have heard that song and be like, I love this song, I want to get on this beat, I'm just gonna put it out for fans. He's I think he's listening to his intuition and inst mm. musical instinct. A lot of artists I think they think too much. Yeah. Oh, should I put this out? Oh fucking put it out, man. Yeah, I just feel like a lot of artists are just like, oh I put this album, let me just not put out any music for four years. I and mean, it, if you're Frank Ocean, classic. it might work. But, but Frank Ocean even drops loose. Remember last year, like Viking and oh, yeah, yeah, and they were great. And he dropped another two as well. Yeah, like. exactly. So I think I think more artists need to do it. I think more artists need to just be like, I'm inspired by this. 
this is an album material, but just put it out because the fans will eat it up and it keeps them sort of eaten. And as a message to younger artists, <coughs> you're not fucking special. Like if these artists like Tyler are establishing their career doing this, mm. there's no reason you shouldn't be either, in yeah. my opinion. Fuck, man. It's a cool track. I'll probably add this as well because I fuck with this beat so oh, it's much. It's not on Spotify. Sorry, fam. It's only on YouTube. Not yet, not yet. He put 435 on. Actually, yeah, true. I reckon, I reckon he'll put it on. Oh, he, oh needs, I, he needs permission to, yeah, though. Yeah, he does, too. Oh, no, no. He's good friends with, he's good friends with Cuddy. I mean, good friends with... Uh, yeah, but it's a whole Cuddy, thing. Cuddy, you got to text, then you got to talk to the label, no, the no. label's got to talk to... No, well, the thing is, though, him and Kanye are really fucking close. He could probably just text Kanye, and Kanye would be like, yeah, it's cool. I'll just let Pushno. Like, legit, it would be that easy for Tyler. Pushno? Because he's the head of good music. No, oh, okay. Hey, man, I hope they do it. <laughs> We're Jungle Beats. Australia's and, um, plug to gonna... the... Sorry. Please finish. I know what you were about to say was very important. <laughs> I'm going to go bleach my asshole now. Uh, and then I'll probably, you know, hit up this model. And if I get bleached, you're going to... What did, How do you actually bleach an asshole? What does yeah. that mean? So why would you bleach someone's oh, asshole? So you bleach an asshole so that you don't have the shade around it. You know when you shit out of your asshole a lot? You know? Well, basically, what happens is I don't, I don't you can it. never completely wipe 100% of it unless you use, like, the fucking washer things, which you have in Europe a lot of the time. So your, your ring will get, like, a little bit of a brown hole around it, and a lot of people find that a turn-off. So when you bleach your arsehole, you make it so that your skin, the whole way through, is the same color. It makes it more white as well. Jesus, how, how do, what chemical do you use to do that? I don't know. Probably, well, bleach? not bleach. No, not, well, I don't think so. I don't think very so. very fucking harsh up there. Um, but yeah, so, cause obviously a lot of people love to have anal sex. A lot of people, even people that are straight love to lick out assholes, mm. rim jobs. Like some, I know a lot of guys that like are obsessed with licking out and licking around a girl's ring. It just turns them the fuck on. So mm. just bleaching an asshole makes it more appealing. It's a very common thing, man. Yeah. I just didn't know the process of how it was done. I don't know the process, but that's an idea. Anyway, we're Jungle Beats. We're giving you a uh, Show these plugs little... to, the, to the best bleach assholes in the country. See, I told you what I had to say it was important. What are you gonna say? We're Jungle Beats. Uh, th <laughs> <laughs> Fuck all now. See ya. They want a story, a story. I like the shit that I find very amusing. Cause all of they fucking stories are boring. It's really awkward to know that a bunch of kids do adore me. It's like a father of these fuckers, so you won't find me your more.